Welcome to SST College of Arts and Commerce. This is SST Edumedia. So, my topic is Commerce Semester 1 and Project Planning. And myself is Kumkum Gurbani. So, today I will teach you what is Project Planning. So, Project Planning is basically depends on the business planning process. So, now what is business planning process? So, first of all, we will learn that business plan. Business plan is a written document prepared by entrepreneur that describes all the relevant external and internal elements involved in starting new venture. So, it is an integration of functional phase, functional plans such as marketing, finance, manufacturing and human resource plan. So, these are the important departments while planning for such business. So, a business plan is a blueprint of step-by-step -step process that would be followed to convert business idea into successful business venture. So, if you want a successful business venture, you must have a proper business plan that is business process. So, there are some objectives of importance of business plan. So, the first objective is to give the direction to the vision formulated by the entrepreneur. So, when we start some venture or an organization, our target is what is our vision, what is our mission. So, to formulate that by the entrepreneur, it is necessary to give that the direction. So, our second objective is to objectively evaluate the prospectus of business. So, what is the prospective of the business to be evaluated? And third objective is to monitor the progress after implementing business plan. Because if you will monitor the progress of the implementing business plan, so it will show us how it's going on. So our fourth objective is to persuade others to join business. Fifth, to seek loans from financial institutions. And our next objective is to visualize concepts in terms of market availability, organizational, operational and financial feasibility. And seventh is to guide entrepreneur in actual implementation of plan. So whatever we have planned, so it is important to guide the entrepreneur about implementation. And eighth is to identify actual strength and weaknesses of plan. So, if we will know that the, what are the strengths and weaknesses of the plan, we can work according to that. And next objective is to identify challenges in terms of opportunities and threats from the external markets. If we come to know what are the opportunities and threats, we can easily work on it. If we have the opportunities, we can grab that. If there are some threats, we can modify that and improve that. And next is to clarify ideas and identify gaps in management information about their business competitors and markets. Next is to identify the resources that would be required to implement the plan. Because as there are the many departments, so we need the resources to implement the plan. Because if we don't have the resources, we can't implement the plan. So it is important to identify the resources available. Next, to document ownership arrangements, future prospectors and projected growth of the business venture. So, where the growth is taking place, we need to identify that so that we can come to know whether our venture is progressing or not. So, there are some steps in the business plan process. So, how it works? First, it is idea generation. If we have an idea, we generate it. Accordingly, we make a plan. So, first is idea generation. Second is environmental scanning. What are the internal and what are the external environment? We have to scan that. We have to analyze that. And next is feasibility analysis. And then we project report preparation. And last is evaluation, control and revenue review. So, what is idea generation? Idea generation is the first step in the business planning process. So, this step differentiates entrepreneur from usual business. So, an entrepreneur may come up with the new ideas, business idea or may bring in value addition 
to existing product in the market so sources of new customers existing companies research and development and employees dealers retailers so they may can generate the ideas second process is environmental scanning so once the entrepreneur is through the idea generation stage next entrepreneur is required to conduct environmental scanning which includes analyzing an external and internal environment that affects business idea second is socio cultural appraisal so in environmental scanning there is one step that is social cultural appraisal it gives a brief overview about the culture tradition of existing in society so it is comprised of values and beliefs of people which determine the acceptance of product by customer in the market so when we launch some product we keep in the mind about the needs of the customers that what customer desire is so whether our product will work for them or not so technological appraisal is our next term in this so it assesses various technological options available to convert the idea to product so it also provides and brief overview about technological updation development per capita income national income and consumption pattern in the business the third one is economic appraisal so it assesses the status of the society in terms of economic development per capita income national income and consumption pattern in the business so economic is very important for developing a per capita income or a national income for our india so the third process is feasibility analysis so it refers to conducting detailed analysis in relation to carry aspect relevant to business and determining credibility of business and market analysis is to conduct it and estimate to demand and market share for proposed product and service in future so this is a feasibility analysis in that the marketing plan is necessary so lay down the strategy of marketing which can lead to success of business plan if you have a marketing strategy how to do the marketing it will enhance the growth of our business you will get information about the product price place and you can do the promotion as well according to that so now we will study about what is project planning why we are planning some processes that is related to our business so we have some projects so how to plan that projects and what is project planning so project planning ensures motivating of the monitoring of the budget and schedule at every step so the project plan includes a schedule and guide team members in completing their task and helps them in knowing which tool they will need and when so it also helps the team stay engaged for higher project performance so the project plan ensures there is the active participation of the team members and allows them to have an opportunistic approach towards their work so if we have a proper project planning we can work according to that and we don't face any problems in that so project planning ensures timely testing of an output at every step we can come to know whether our company is growing or not whether we are achieving our targets or our objectives or not so when successfully implemented everyone on the team can force prob face problems before they happen so this creates efficiencies and ensure the successful execution of the plan so project planning isn't just another stage of project management it's the one of the most critical stages of the whole process so let's see exactly why project planning is so important so not just for the project but for the entire company and its staff too because if we have a proper team work proper motivation to each other we can motivate each other so that to achieve our objectives and to achieve our goals so here we will study about the importance of project planning so as the importance of the project planning includes it boosts project performance and success rate 
we can identify our project performance whether our graph is going on whether it is going down or whether it is moving up so we can come to know about the success rates also so we can compare according to the yearly progress while project planning and second one is it saves money why because if we have a proper use of resources if we have an optimum use of resources every department is working on it properly so it can saves money and it also a less time consuming third is it improves team communication when we are doing some team work and motivating each other it also improves the team communication also because what is the whatever the problems we are discussing with team can bring a very huge change in our planning so proper communication doesn't lead any miscommunication and it makes a planning more perfect and for this it ensures the best use of resources as earlier we discussed that it also saves money why it saves money because we are using the proper use of resources we are using a optimum use of resources and we are not doing any wastages of the resources so it we ensure the best use of resources that where are the resources we can use properly and in which department it needed so fifth is it makes it easy to track project goals and outcomes so it uh, by the help of the project planning it makes us uh, easy to track project goals and outcomes that means what we are planning and we are implementing it and after that we are reviewing the plan and we come to know that whether our objectives are able to achieve or not we are growing or not so it makes us easy to track the project goals and outcomes we can measure what are our goals and whether we are getting the profit or not next is it helps keeps all collaborators aligned whatever the coordination is team work needed it keeps that all collaborated seven it improves employee retention planning drives performance also so whenever we are doing something so we are always moving step by step ahead if we are doing mistakes so next time we focus on that mistakes and try to not do it again so day by day our performance are also increasing when we are working in some corporate sector or in any organization so these were the importance of project planning so here we discussed about what is the project planning their objectives concepts and the importance thank you so much